Hey, I know what you're thinking. How about a game? Want to play a game of dice? Well, you're going to have to create that game first. And we're going to do that using what we've learned in the earlier lessons about object-oriented programming with JavaScript. So first of all, create an element on the page that can be clicked. Then create a constructor function to contain the game functions. So you can call it dice game. And then within dice game, add the option to roll the dice with math random one to six. And then the dice game, add an option to check the winner. And then within the click event, give the ability to roll. Also add the ability to determine the winner of who is who has the highest roll of the dice and then output that information as it's being clicked onto the page. So just like the example here, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is all just text based. And of course, we do want to focus on the JavaScript. So this is all behind the scenes. And we're just simply outputting player got a six versus computer one player wins. So that's all the functionality that we're looking for in this challenge. So you can pause the video and I'll walk you through how to construct this and how to build this coming up. So the first thing that we wanted to do is create our basic game container. So this is the object that we're gonna use in order to create our game. And this is calling out to dice game function. And that means that we do need to create that as uh, we see that we throw an error, of course, if we don't have that in existence and we try to access that function. So now we've got the function called dice game. And then this is where all the magic happens. So we also need to create a few elements on the page. So this is for the user to be able to have something to click. So using document, create element, and the element that we're creating. So this is just a regular div. And then within the, the, the dice, add in text, context. And for now, we can start out with a message that just says roll here. So this is the starting point. And then we need to append it. So document, body, append, child. And we're appending the dice to the body. So we've got roll here. So that's it. So now we've got, we're almost ready to go to continue with the dice game. So we need to make this clickable, like roll here. Doesn't do very much, just says roll here. So let's create an action to that. And we can do this by adding an event listener. I'm going to actually do this as a second line down here. So for dice, because we've got that dice object that we created, so we always have access to it and add event listener. And the event that we're listening for is a click. So anyone that clicks that is gonna invoke the function. This can just be an anonymous function within that add event listener. So now whenever we click it, and let's uh, just make sure that it's working. So now when we click it, we got roll showing up within the console. So that's what we want. Uh, so what we wanna do is we want to have the ability to roll. And all of this is gonna actually happen within the dice game. So within this dice game, we need to create a few methods. And the first one is roll. We need to have some type of action that the user can take. And then we're gonna to call to these actions. And this is all gonna be contained within the game object. So this is the one that we're constructing. So using the function. So whenever the user rolls, what we wanna do is return back a result. So I'm gonna use this result. And using JavaScript math, floor and then taking math random and we're going to multiply the result by six and so we want a value that's being returned back from one to six so i'm going to add in a one to it so now our result is going to be resulting back with a value of one to six so i had an extra bracket there that's what was throwing the error there uh, and then all we're doing here is we're returning this result so we're turning back the result. So that means that we can use game, roll, and we can roll any time we want. So how about, uh, how about we try that and game roll. So we get game roll, we get a random value, and hopefully it's one to six, it should be one to six. So everything is good to go. So now we can create the rules for the player as well as for the computer. So the player rolls the dice and they're using game roll. Also, we need a computer roll. And you can add in as many as you want. So in this case, we're only gonna have the two, but you can extend on this and create additional options to roll. So what we also need to do is check to see who the winner is and then output the results. And we're gonna do that in the upcoming lesson. So go ahead, set this up and have the ability to roll 
and you're gonna be ready to move on to the next part where we're gonna wrap this up and we're gonna to check to see who the winner is and then output that information. And actually we're gonna just output it right on top of the dice so that wherever we're clicking, and I know this doesn't look like dice, so it's just that input field, that field that we can click and initiate the action of the game. So go ahead, create this, and coming up, we're gonna wrap this up.